Our word of the day is precious metals. A precious metal is a rare metallic chemical element of high economic value. Today on Cranky Gun Reviews, we're going to talk about investing in precious metals. So last week, I took my Bear Creek Arsenal 7.62 upper out to the range, and after putting several rounds through it, or several magazines anyway, I started to have stoppages with some steel case Talamo uh, 762 by 39 and the only thing that ran really well in it was some Bellum Brass Case 762 by 39 Well, the online retailer that I purchased that Bellum 762 by 39 was out of stock, so I set up an email notification from them so I could find some other 762 by 39 brass case ammo that didn't break the piggy bank. Now, typically, if you want to find brass case ammo that's not like a dollar a round, you're going to end up buying something like this X-Force ammo. The only other X-Force I've ever found before was in 9mm 124 grain full metal jacket. And I bought a couple of boxes of that. Uh, probably two years ago, you know, kind of in the middle of the pandemic, just to try it out. And from what I recall, it shot very well. This stuff looks extremely well made. The cases are very nice. They're not tarnished. You can see the head stamp on this. It says XF762 by 39. And the packaging, there's little dividers in between all the rounds, kind of reminds me of something else that I've seen. What was it? Oh yeah, Crayola crayons. At any rate, this stuff seems to be pretty well made. Hopefully I'll get it out to the range and shoot it pretty soon. But where is this stuff made? I've never really heard of it before. Hmm, it looks like it's made in North Macedonia. Where the heck is North Macedonia? I had to look it up on a map. As it turns out, it's in between Serbia and Greece. That's funny though, I could have sworn it was over by Istanbul. Istanbul, Constantinople, now it's Istanbul. Now again, I said this stuff didn't break the piggy bank. This was about 46 cents around when I bought it online, and this is in September of 2023. I'm sure at some point in the future, people will be freaking out about that price, either because it's too expensive or really cheap. The description on the website says ATS X-Force Sumbro 762 by 39 full metal jacket, and this is 124 grain. So I think ATS is the actual company, and again, they're in North Macedonia, which up until today, I had no idea where that was. I plan on keeping this stuff set aside and just using it for my Bear Creek Arsenal 7.62 upper, because that's what I really need it for. And here again is a little picture of the X-Force 9mm that I bought before in 124 grain that also shot very well. So very soon, I'll get this out to the range and I'll give you all a range update I'll take the camera along so you can see how reliable this stuff is. Hopefully it shoots well, loads well, and ejects well. But for now, keep that stockpile going. Anytime you go out to the range and shoot, when you go buy more ammo to replace what you shot, like I've always said, buy a little bit more to keep your stocks up in case anything happens or in case there's another shortage.